Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for August 24th to the 30th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. All right, I'm gonna switch up cameras because I don't wanna take up too much of your time, so let's jump right in here. What's going on, my Virgos Romantic Love Life for August 24th to the 30th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So we're gonna be doing the day-to-day -day, and then we're gonna look at your love interest feelings, the black Chilean challenge and then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Please also remember that these are general messages. You can check your moon, your rising and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. Let's move these up here. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross cross watch for more information. All right, let's keep going here. Okay. All right, and the Eye of Zen is finally back up on Amazon.com. I have made delivery. They have received it. You guys should see the inventory very soon, and you'll, you'll be able to... All the information is in the link below, and also... I will be making an announcement for uh, readings to be open again in September, so it'll be coming up soon. I will be getting back to a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you have emailed me. Um, also, we have a free reading contest going on right now, so all the details will be at the end. So stick with me to the end. Okay, I think I covered everything. <laughs> Let's roll, jump right in here, Virgo. All right, so remember this is going to be August 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. So then we're going to look at your love interest feelings, the black shillies and challenges, and then I'm going to sum everything up at the end, because right now we're looking at the day-to-day, -day, but the, everything at the end will sum it all up in a very clear-cut situation. Okay, so, so what seems to be going on here on the 24th? It's like, all right, wow, I see something growing here. It seems like, you know, finally these things that I have planted here are going to take growth. And you're, you're finally starting to see some things here in your situation. And you're like, okay, cool, all right, it's, it's happening. And then let's see, going further. There seems to be a lot of analyzing, thinking, contemplating. And then we see that the next day, it seems like you guys are going to be spending time with your soulmate connection there. Or you're going to be making some choices with, with love here. There is, there is a love connection there with that Two of Cups energy coming up. So Virgo's Romantic Love Life, August 24th to the 30th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. I'm clarifying with the Lenormand and also with the Ives Zen. Okay, so why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Mm. So now you know why. You're going to receive some kind of letter, message, text message, something to do with paperwork. So you're like, all right, you know what? There's some, I'm investing some time in this. There's a want for some communication that's going to take place back and forth about this. And then um, let's keep going. And then Two of Cups being the next day, 25th, there is love on this day. There is, uh, for some of you, a sort of relationship. For others of you, it's just going to be the choice for love here, choices for love here. So let's see what that's about. Mm -hmm. Someone may be paying you a visit on this day with the writer card energy, or you're gonna get some good news about love here with the two of cups energy, okay? So we see a letter of good news, okay? Something to do with a, this text message, Facebook message, or some kind of paperwork with good news. There's like all this waiting around, and then we see choices with love, and then we see that you got luck on your side and things are moving in your favor by the 26th. So let's see what that's about. Mm -hmm. Clover Card's talking about luck. It's a lucky day for you guys, okay? Definitely make note of that day, lucky day. Okay, so before we go any further, I want to shuffle these cards here for more clarity. All right, Virgo's Romantic Love Life, August 24th to the 30th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's, let's get more information about what this text message is, what this letter is about, because obviously it's about some growth happening in this connection. All right, some things that have been like, all right, let's be patient. I want to invest some time in this connection. Mm. <laughs> yes, you guys got new love. <laughs> okay, so we see that there is this new love, or for some of you, this card can represent Ace of Cups. There is an awareness that there's love here. Okay, and then we see things are aligning your favor. Oh my God, Virgo, you're going to have so far so good. I'm crossing my fingers. All right. And look at that. I want to make an effort here because great love is worth taking the steps I got to take. So we see so far 
you've got this new love, renewed love here with the Ace of Cups energy. Things are moving in your favor, Virgo, and it's like, wow, let's make an effort together. And then I hear that text message, or it could be an email coming through. So some of you are going to receive some kind of text message, Facebook message, which we already know because we see the letter card. And also with the writer card, it can talk about good news. You're receiving some kind of news, okay? Could be good news. And it, we know the news is something to do with love and something to do with this letter, message, document, paperwork, right? And we see that it's the sense of, oh my God, things are moving in my favor. Okay, all right, so. Okay, we got the tower card energy, which could represent isolation or separation. Oh, so you're aware that someone is missing you. Okay, they miss you. This makes you feel really good because you know this person does miss you and they long for your embrace once again. So there's a person that's really missing you on this day. We see if we go this way with it, it's this new love person, this renewed love person. Oh, okay, let's keep going here, Virgo. So it looks like on this day, you're like, all right, I need to look at my choices, my options, and make sure I'm doing the right thing here with the Seven of Cups energy. Let's see what that's about. Hmm. It seems like very emotional here with the fish card energy. So there's a lot of emotions involved with this analyzing and thinking, contemplating. So you're having a sense of confusion about choices or options here on this day because of something to do with a commitment, engagement, or marriage, or I feel like for some of you, you're like, I don't want to keep repeating the same patterns over and over again. So on this day, we see that you guys are dealing with some stress here with the Nine of Swords energy. So I feel like you need to be careful about that because it's like it seems like there's a lot of focus on stress and a lot of thoughts that are really getting to you on this day. We'll see what's going on. And this is about uh, moving from one location to another location or you're focused on, okay, I want some kind of improvements here in the situation, okay? Because you're at a crossroads about a choice. Okay, so let's keep going here and I'm gonna go through each one. Emperor tells me there's a sense of structure, a sense of organization, okay? Or maybe even a focus on work here with the Emperor card energy. And you making a decision here with the Scythe card energy, which is causing a little bit of stress. So let's sum this up, okay? And of course, at the end, I'm gonna sum it up very clearly. So we see that you guys have new love, renewed love here, and you know that things are moving in your favor. There's a want to make the effort here because this person, you find out this person really is missing you. They really have love for you, and it makes you, and there's a sense of happiness here around it. And we see that there is something to do with this commitment, which is leaving you at a crossroads or stressing you out a bit, or could be making you feel like you have a lot of goosebumps, like, you know, like uh, the sense of, oh my God, you know, every time I'm around this person, I get really nervous, or you're concerned about, I don't want to keep repeating the same old patterns here. Um, I need to make a choice here, okay? So it looks like you're at a crossroads about it, which, because it's causing you a little bit of stress, you're like, I don't want to keep repeating the same patterns. Okay, so let's go down further here, Virgo, okay? Okay, and I definitely felt like your mid-months looked really good, Virgo, so you may want to check that out as well. It's up and available. Um, from what I can see from the rest of the month, wow. I mean, your reading was very good. So we see there's a letter and some kind of good news, which seems very lucky. There's a sense of isolation or separation because of emotions, because of having to move from one location to another location, or the sense of uh, improvements here with the store card energy and having to make a decision. Okay, going further on this Virgo. It's like there's been this waiting around and allowing things to grow when it comes to love or this relationship. And it's like, wow, things are moving in my favor. There's this, this sense of complete happiness. But now there's like a lot of overanalyzing that's causing a lot of stress because things have to be done in a very structured, organized way or because of work could be an issue or because the situation may involve work or boss here. OK, with the Emperor card energy or a fatherly figure for some of you. OK, so it's like a strategic energy, which is causing a lot of confusion. Okay, so Virgo, we're now going to take a look at your uh, love interest feelings. Now, whoever you're trying this video for, whoever you wanted to know about. Okay, so let's first start with the Tarot here. Okay. Okay, let's break it down. You know, before we do that, let's take a look. Since I... I I see at the end of the week that we had ended up there. Let's just see what your block challenge is this week. Mm. 
you're questioning whether or not that there is true love here. Ace of Cups energy. That explains why you've been, you're going to be overanalyzing this week. Okay. And the garden card, because the family or friends are going out or something to do with people involved with it. Hmm. Having to be patient to kind of see how things are going to play out. All right. That's part of the Black Australian Challenge. Be aware of that. So love interest. This person has been patient. They would like to travel towards you and they would like a decision very soon or they'd like some changes here. This person wants to send you a message, a serious message, or they were looking for a serious path with you. They have strong desires towards you and they have a lot of regrets what happened between you and, and them. This person uh, sees you from a whole new perspective and they want to fulfill their wishes because they have romantic feelings for you. All right, let's keep going. So let's take a look at the overall outcome here. Mm -hmm. So there's a person that feels left out in the cold and they would like the opportunity to open the door. And they want your attention, six of wands energy, because of family and long-term commitment. So this person's really in it, okay, to win it here. In it to win it. <laughs> they want the long-term here, right? They, they, wanna, they wanna be around for a while and they want a victory around this. For some of you, as we see the Black Australian Challenge, this sense of being left out in the cold, a sense of loss because of something to do with family. You have a victory here with the Six of, of uh, Wands energy. So let's see what this is about. Yep, you got some kind of surprise coming up with the bouquet card energy, which is going to cause some kind of confusions here. And it's going to leave you at a crossroads because you're going to have to make a choice about family and long-term commitment or even something around money. So I felt for some of you, with the Emperor being at the end there, he represents a fatherly figure, okay, a boss or work. And we see Ten of Pentacles can be something to do with money or family. So there's some indecisions about that. And the confusions is the sense of, all right, I want your attention. I, I want to be right here. I want this victory. I want this victory. I want, I want to be with you. And there's something surprising about this person who feels left out in the cold when it comes to this opportunity that explains the middle of the week when we saw that missing you card. Right, the sense of isolation or separation. Going further on this, mm -hmm. there's very something very surprising about the fact this person has strong chemistry and passion towards you. And then we see again the family card here coming out, saying something to do with family and long-term commitment, or something that needs to be resolved with family long-term commitment. That's like the emperor card energy and wanting some kind of control, wanting it done in a very structured and organized way. Want a decision. They want a decision about family and long-term commitment here. This person's serious. They're gonna surprise you, take you by surprise there with this attraction. They're really attracted to you. And they miss you. Look at that, they miss you. You can tell this person's really sad. Right there, it's like uh, this very sad energy. Um, it very makes me feel very emotional looking at that card, actually. So fives talk about some kind of challenge or change when it comes to healing, recovery, and love, and a sense of completion, a sense of accomplishment here. All right, my beautiful Virgos. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. The next reading that's coming out is your bi-weeklies. Now, I have a question for you guys. Do you want the bi-weeklies to be separated with couples and singles, like a separate, completely separate read? Like we'll do the bi-weeklies for couples and bi-weeklies for singles. Just make it a complete separate read for both. You let me know in the comments below. Uh, for the free personal reading, all you do is put love in the comments below. We're making two people for a free personal reading, and I'll be making that announcement at the end of August, which obviously is coming up very soon, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys soon. And also, please check out your mid-monthlies for more information, because I did feel like that reading was really, really good and really positive. You guys may want to check that out. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.